Here we are, finding angles in transversal problems. Okay, so given M parallel to N, find the value of X. Okay, well, it's really important that whenever we do these, we start by kind of labeling things so that it's more visual. So if M is parallel to N, looks like they're talking about line M is parallel to line N, then we have some properties that are kind of used here. So this is what's called corresponding parts. How I like to think about it is this portion right here can be cut out and lifted up and put right on top of this portion here, and then the angles are matching. Okay, <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and change colors and we'll see which angles match. So I like, there's only two angles possible in this entire problem because they, they have parallel lines. So all the acute angles match, all the acute angles match. That means all the acute angles are 50. All the acute angles are 50. And then all the obtuse angles have to match. And since these angles have to add up to be 180, that means these obtuse angles are 130. The obtuse angles are 130. Okay, so it's really important, like the shortcut is when you have those parallel lines cut by a transversal, then there's only two angles that you have to kind of consider or deal with. And the easiest way is all the acute angles match, all the obtuse angles match. But the hard thing is knowing the vocabulary that it kind of, uh, that represents it. So this one is the corresponding parts idea. And like I said, it's like if I cut it out and lay it on top then that means this X degree has to be 50. Do one more. Okay. Uh, MN, first thing we want to do is mark it as parallel. And find the value of X. Okay. So once again, uh, this is that same idea. All the acute angles match, so the acute angles all have to match. These are all 37 degrees. These are 37. These are 37, and the obtuse angles have to match. The obtuse angles have to match. So it looks like X is an obtuse angle. Okay, so a couple different ways you can kind of make this jump to get down here, but somehow you need to get this 37 over here so you can relate it. Uh, I guess you could probably suppose you can throw X over here, that same style. Um, but I'll go ahead and kind of move. It's usually a good habit to take what they give you and try to move it towards what they're looking for. Okay, so that means I'll use the corresponding angle idea again. So this on top of this means that 37 matches with this right here. So this is also 37 by corresponding angles and then we have what's called supplementary. 37 and X are on the same line. Things that are on the same line total 180 degrees. So that means 37 degrees plus X degrees is equal to 180 degrees. We just subtract 37, subtract 37, and X is equal to 43, 143. Uh, and like I said, that's supplementary that I used to do that one. 